guys, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Today we're gonna to talk about vital pieces of backpacking gear to have a quality backpacking experience. And it comes down to just a couple uh, really specific things. And I've got three things, well four really, that I'll talk about that I feel like are really important vital pieces of gear for you to invest in and have a really good education and understanding of when it comes to your backpacking system. Now the first thing that I'll talk about because it's the most simple, but that comes to a first aid kit. Now a first aid kit for me is probably one of the most important things that I will ever put into my backpack when I go backpacking. It is so important to have something that allows you to take care of any kind of uh, injury as well as medical issues and with my training as a wilderness first responder, I will never not carry a sufficient first aid kit in the backcountry. And so I've got things like a syringe, I've got trauma shears, I've got gloves and all sorts of things in here, blister kit stuff that is really, really vital to making sure that I'm able to take care of myself as well as anybody that I happen to be with or come across uh, on the trail that might be injured. So a high quality, good, well put together first aid kit with items that you know how to use. That's super, super important. That you know how to use all of the items in your first aid kit. This is a absolute vital necessity to a backpacking system. Don't skip out on a good quality first aid kit. Have I beat the horse dead yet with that? Okay. Next item and group of things comes to your clothing. And this is everything from your layering system of additional clothing items that you carry inside of your pack for when you get to camp and for sleeping, as well as what you wear on your person. So this includes footwear. Now the shoes that I'm wearing are the uh, Sportiva Bushido, but it could be any kind of a uh, shoe that is really good for you. So don't skip out on a quality, good pair of shoes for you to hike in. Make sure that you do some test hikes before you go on anything long and you're carrying weight to make sure uh, and decide whether or not that shoe is good for you. And everybody's foot is shaped differently. Everybody's foot is different, their bodies are different. And so make sure that you find something that works for you. I know, for example, that uh, the Ultra line of shoes, whether it's the Temp or the Lone Peak, are super popular backpacking uh, and through hiker type of shoes. However, they don't fit my foot. I have little princess feet <laughs> and those uh, shoes are too wide and my foot moves around in the shoe too much. So I've gone and been using the Sportiva line of shoes for several years because they fit my foot better. Moving on to layering items, a high quality rain jacket is super important. That is a vital piece of gear for me because this is going to protect me from getting wet. It's gonna protect me from the wind and just be a really positive uh, experience influencer in my kit. I like to have a really high quality base layer, mid-weight layer that allows me to, again, stay warmer and just run with the variances that you head at, that you would have uh, in temperature as things adjust, particularly in the fall and early spring. Uh, this kind of setup is really nice. And then a good high quality and uh, something that works for you really within your budget, some kind of insulated layer. And that could be a jacket like what I'm wearing right here, uh, the serum jacket from Arcteryx, or like the Atom, this is a synthetic jacket from Arcteryx. I personally really love the Arcteryx products. Yes, I know that they are way more expensive than a lot of other pieces of gear out there in terms of outerwear. I get it, and it's not for everybody, but I have chosen to invest the money into these pieces of gear because they have proven to be high quality, last a long time, and they fit my body really well. If Mountain Hardware is your thing, great. If Outdoor Research is your thing or some kind of off-brand, I don't care. Whatever works for you, invest the money into it, and that's uh, what should be 
what's important to you in your backpacking system. Now the last thing about vital pieces of backpacking gear happen to be what uh, is the scene of this video. And that's a quality and uh, fitting shelter and sleep system for the area that you will be backpacking in. If you are going into high altitude and there's gonna be a lot of wind, then a good four season tent like this is gonna be important to uh, enhancing your experience and making that a quality experience for yourself. If it is in the desert in the summer, I'm not gonna carry this tent. I may just go sleep on a ground sheet and have a tarp available uh, for inclement weather. It's gonna save me weight. And if I'm a hammock camper, particularly out east where there are dozens and dozens and dozens, just all sorts of different places uh, to hang hammocks that are really convenient, then a hammock is gonna be a great thing for you. What I'm trying to get at is that a vital piece of gear for me and a vital piece of the system is having a quality sleeping bag, something to keep me warm. In this case, where I am a ground dweller, a really good sleeping bag, or a really good sleeping pad and a sleeping bag, but a sleep system that is gonna keep me warm, comfortable, again, enhance that experience, and a good shelter system that supports that. So those are vital pieces of backpacking gear for me. It's important for me to have invested majority of my budget in my system in these items because this is what allows me to have the best experience possible on the trail. The one thing that I did not talk about but is super important is also a great backpack that fits you well and is uh, going to be something that allows you to comfortably carry all of the things that you've invested in. So. What are your vital pieces of backpacking gear? What's most important to you in your backpacking system? I'd be really curious to know. Leave your comments down in the comments section. That's my vital pieces of gear, guys. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video. See you later.